What's up everyone and welcome back to the AG Chelsea TV today let's get started with. Chelsea will be without injured £200,000 a week player for at least another 6 games, Chelsea defender Ben Chilwell won't be returning from injury until the start of December at the earliest. That is according to a report from Football London. They claim that Ben Chilwell, 26, is now unlikely to be unavailable because of a hamstring problem for around 2 months, the report names December as a possible return date for the Blues left back. Chelsea are scheduled to play six games from now until December, five in the Premier League and one in the Carabao Cup, so it's quite a blow to the team. The vice-captain has missed the previous two games with his hamstring injury, but it's another block of matches before he'll be back on the pitch. Chilwell, who earns £200,000 a week, Spotrick, may be able to take some comfort from the fact that his rehabilitation period spans across two international breaks. It's both frustrating and worrying that the fullback continues to be injury-prone each season, though. We're currently watching Levi Colwell nail down a spot in the Blues lineup as the starting left back, which is a position Mauricio Pochettino seems to like him in. It'll be interesting to see what the long term future looks like at Chelsea in the left back position. Our preference would be a fully fit Chilwell at fullback, with Colwell start at centre half. Chelsea head coach Pochettino recently referred to Chilwell as one of the best fullbacks in the world. As quoted by Football London, unfortunately, the England international seems to have an injury setback whenever he begin to build up any real momentum. Cole Palmer suffers injury in England under 21's 9-1 win. Chelsea forward Cole Palmer suffered a thigh injury during England under 21's 9-1 win over Serbia on Thursday evening. The 21-year-old suffered the injury during the first half at the city ground but was able to make it out for the second half with his right thigh bandaged. However, Palmer was forced to pull up just six minutes into the second half after suffering further pain to his right thigh. Palmer was able to walk off the pitch unaided and was seen removing the bandage as he made his way towards the touchline. The forward is now a doubt for England under 21's European Championship qualifier against Ukraine on Monday. Speaking after his side's win, England under 21's head coach Lee Carsley said, There are a few bumps and bruises and we will monitor Cole, but we will not be taking any chances. Palmer joined Chelsea in a £42.5 million deal from Manchester City in the summer transfer window. He has made six appearances for Mauricio Pochettino's side, scoring one goal and registering two assists. Meanwhile, England under-21s recorded their biggest win since their 9-0 win over San Marino in 2013, with their 9-1 victory over Serbia. Jaden Falogen, Harvey Elliott and Noni Maduk all scored twice. Liam DeLay and Jonathan Rowe also found the net while Luka Sabotic scored a late own goal. The win keeps England top of Group F with three wins from three games. Chelsea consider bringing forgotten star back to Stamford Bridge after sealing his season-long loan switch from Chelsea to Nottingham Forest. Andre Santos sat with a beaming smile on his face to give a first interview with his new club about his feelings. My last season in Brazil was good but now I want to play in the Premier League because it has always been my dream he said. I want to enjoy it. I want to play a lot of matches. We are now eight games into the new season yet Santos does not have a single minute of Premier League action under his belt. Chelsea fans are bemused. In pre-season the young Brazilian was lighting things up, he's a player that describes himself as being good at passing and in the press and has a love for scoring goals yet apart from an outing in the Carabao Cup against Burnley. He has not been seen. Even worse, Forrest lost that game so appearance opportunities in the EFL Cup are now gone for a talented team that captained Brazil under-20s at the World Cup four months ago and then stamped his mark on Chelsea's first team in the early weeks of Pochettino's reign. It seems bizarre that he is suddenly a forgotten man. Forrest usually use a midfield three and opportunities to start rotating the options in there should be seen. Ibrahim Sangar and Nicolas Dominguez joined on deadline day though and, to be frank, those two moments have nudged Santos down the order. They have been regulars alongside Oral Mangala in recent weeks, in Danilo, Brandon Aguilera, Ryan Yates and Cheku Kuyote, Forrest have other depth options of their own that will be pushing for a run out every week. At this stage, there is little doubt Santos would have been better off staying at Chelsea, where he would have picked up more game time given their injury problems. Yet the deal was sealed at a time when there was genuine uncertainty about getting other faces in at the end of the window and the priority for Forrest has been to bed in two players who have joined on permanent deals. In terms of growth and first team projection that makes more sense than bringing on a Chelsea asset, 
stories have begun to surface that Chelsea are now considering recalling the player from the city ground in January. Sources at Chelsea insist that decision has not yet been made, but there is potential for him to return and find a new loan side in the second half of this season if things do not improve. Santos has become the victim of a Forest's late success in the market, but after discussions between clubs recently. Chelsea have been assured that opportunities are coming, beyond the fact Forest do have strength in numbers in that area of the field. Insiders say they have wanted to take time to decide when to use Santos and to play a certain style and mindset that has been needed for the various opponents. FC Porto were one of the clubs trying to sign Santos on loan before he moved to Forest and it is understood there is some regret around this choice of move as it stands. Santos was keen to join a Premier League side to start familiarising himself with the environment but, in hindsight, maybe a move abroad would have been better after all. Pochettino credits two Chelsea players. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino has praised standing captain Conor Gallagher and new signing Cole Palmer for helping the Blues find some much-needed form before the international break. Pochettino was appointed Chelsea manager following the club's worst-ever Premier League campaign and has not enjoyed an easy start to his tenure. They currently sit 11th in the league and have suffered disappointing defeats against the likes of West Ham, Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa, however, they have now won three games in a row across all competitions, with academy graduate Gallagher captaining the side with Rhys James out injured, and Palmer enjoying an impressive start to life at Stamford Bridge. Palmer was a surprise summer signing, with Chelsea forking out an initial £42.5 million for the talented youngster despite him only having three Premier League starts under his belt but Chelsea's upturn in form has coincided with Palmer breaking into the starting lineup, with his first start the 1-0 Carabao Cup win over Brighton where he assisted Nicholas Jackson's winner. The 21-year-old then started Chelsea's wins over Fulham and Burnley, chipping in with a goal and an assist in the 4-1 victory at Turf Moor, and Pochettino has been very impressed with Palmer's displays, saying, Cole Palmer is a good link player and links with all his teammates. We are giving him a starting position on the right to play in between the lines because he is ready to be unpredictable. Football is a game where you need to be unpredictable and he has the capacity to do this. Pochettino also hailed Gallagher's displays in midfield, with the England international forming part of a midfield three alongside big money signings Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo. Connor is a player who can run a lot and this is massive, Pochettino added. He is a great professional and he can play in different positions as a no-8, no-10, or a no-6. He is box-to-box, -box. he can run and can finish an assist, like he did for Raheem Sterling, against Burnley. We are so happy with him. While the international break has come at a time when Chelsea were enjoying a run of victories, Pochettino is hoping it means that some of the Blues' many injured players will be fit for their next game against Arsenal on October 21. We have many players injured, key players who cannot compete and train with us, he explained. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.